Hi, this is Ben Wolf from CatStore.com and the CatStore.com blog. I am here, as promised, to show you how to make brand new, shiny Web 2.0 buttons for your site. Now what I have here is Inkscape. This is a free program for editing shapes. I have it open and I'm going to show you how to make a quick button. Now every button is basically a variation on the same thing. We have a base coat, a gradient on top of that, and then a text layer on the very top. Now, this is really easy in Inkscape. Just select your rectangle tool, select a base color. I'm going to pick a burgundy and pull a rectangle. Now, your rectangle may or may not have sharp corners. If it does, and you would like it to have round corners, just pull this little bubble and change the roundness of your corners. I'd like it kind of square, so I will go right there. Now, with my pointers tool selected, I'm going to duplicate that shape. Then, I'm going to add the second step, the gradient. There we go. So, I'm going to go up here, edit this gradient, lighten the color a bit, Oop, a little less, and there we go. That is your very basic, without text layer, button. Now for a little more pizzazz, you can go here and continue to edit your gradient. I would like to add a stop, which put in this stuff, and I get to change that color. See how that works? It's very nice. You can do anything you want with it. And it's been proven that the more gradient to a button, the more eye-catching it can be, which will eventually lead to more conversions for you. So I'm going to add just one more stop. And I'm going to make this a little darker, this a little lighter. Alright, so you can pull these little diamonds around to adjust where the gradient transition comes in. This is called offset, also here on this slider. Alright, when you're done, just exit out of the gradient editor, grab your selection tool again, and there's your button. All you have to do is put a text layer on top of it, which is right here, create and edit text objects. Pick a color, I'll pick pink. Draw a text box like you would in most other programs and write needless to say that's a smidgen small. Pick your font. The button. Now, one thing that can be a little difficult in Inkscape is understanding how to export. So, one trick that I use is to select everything, go to File, Export Bitmap. Now, it, unlike GIMP, it doesn't give you multiple file types to choose from. You can only export in PNG. So, if you do that, make sure this selection is highlighted, not page, drawing, or custom. Make sure selection is highlighted. It will get anything that's selected right now. You can, check, you can check out your dots per inch resolution and um, put it anywhere you want on your computer by clicking Browse. And make sure once you find file, I'll put it right here on my desktop. Save. Make sure to click export and 
you know, 